All right, guys, well, welcome back to the shop. I just finished up a quick little upgrade to the RV, the 2001 Beaver Patriot Thunder. And if you just saw it, uh, put in the comments what you think that uh, the upgrade was. But this video is not about that. This is going to be an end of year, hopefully very, very quick video. And if you've looked at the title, you should probably already know what it's going to be about. It's going to be about these mirrors right here. Now, when I bought the RV a few years ago, I even noted that the chrome on these uh, mirrors was peeling and it looks bad. Now the uh, mirrors themselves, the housing is plastic, but it is chrome plated and that's actual metal on there. Uh, painting this is gonna be quite difficult and replacing an entire mirror for this tiny little uh, cosmetic defect seems pretty irresponsible. One, they're like $1,200 for a replacement mirror because it's chrome and two, Replacing or removing a side view mirrors on a motorhome is actually one of my least favorite jobs to do. Often the wiring to there is uh, too short. Uh, you have to cut a lot of wires. They foam everything in on the back side of the cap right there. And you can do a lot of damage to the front cap and a mirror if you're not careful. So not having to remove a mirror, it would be my number one uh, desire. A lot of people are screaming at their uh, TVs right now is, why don't you just put a sticker over the top right there? And that was my original plan. Because when we come over to my water compartment here, I open it up. The previous owner did find this beaver emblem right there. Hello. And I think that would have looked just fine. On the front of the mirror right here, in fact, a lot of high-end RVs already have the emblem right there. And also, like I've always said, usually a cheap patch is the best repair. So just so we're on the same page there, I did reach out and I picked up some... Uh, new decals right here to put over the top of it but these are not um, going to solve my problem because it's just an outline it's not uh, opaque as yet I've been unable to find uh, those blue decals that are in the water compartment available so I've had to think about another thing to do and I thought about getting uh, a caterpillar engine uh, decal for there or even like a reflective tape that would just be a stick-on like that, like this uh, carbon fiber uh, decal is. I did think that would obviously look like a patch, and I didn't like the look of it. But it did lead me down another trail to uh, the repair we're going to do today. Because if reflective um, decals would work, why not just use a uh, vinyl wrap for a car that's chrome? This one's being called Vinyl Frog. I think I got it off of Amazon for like eight dollars but uh, i think this will look pretty good if you look at how it already blends in and while i think i could probably wrap all the way around and mimic all the curves right here i'm trying to do the simple and easy and i don't want to have any puckers on the top corners right there i'm not a highly skilled uh, vinyl wrap installer so i think if we just do a cutout section right there all the way around it'll look right and inadvertently, as a vinyl wrap, it'll protect the mirror from uh, further rock pitting or damage. So that's my hope. First thing we'll have to do is uh, kind of even out this chrome. So I'll probably uh, sand it a little bit to get rid of the edge so I can't see it through the wrap. A new razor and kind of take the uh, edge off, so to speak. Well, oh, another edge. And next I'll just use some 600 grit uh, emery cloth right here to kind of like smooth it out. All right, well, it didn't take much, but it's point of no return now, right? It's pretty smooth now. I don't have an edge. Now you'd think the next step would be to clean the mirror off, but I want to measure it first because I want to make my own, basically, uh, decal. If you had a, a Cricut or a vinyl cutting machine, a CNC machine, it'd be a lot easier, but I'm going to be doing this by hand. Now, if I was a highly skilled vinyl wrap installer, yeah, sure, I could come over to the side right here, almost cut the edge right there, or wrap it around. But I don't have a lot of luck cutting on top of things without damaging the uh, substrate before, even with a good razor blade, so I'm not going to try that method. And if you look at this, there is basically a rectangle right here on the flat surface that I'm just going to try to apply to to minimize that uh, look right there. So on this mirror, this Velvac power mirror, looks to be about five and a half by about eight and a half. All right, so the next step is just to unwrap my new uh, wrap. <laughs> Even though a razor blade that's sharp does a nice cut on this, like I said, if you have a Cricut machine or a CNC vinyl cutter, that'd be the easiest route to go. But if not, 
you can just use a paper cutter. I know not everybody has one of these, but I picked this up at the thrift store uh, years ago, and it's worked out really well for me. But a nice straight line is going to make this uh, patch look the best, I think. And with this, we can just go ahead and bring it all the way to the edge of the uh, cutter right here. Right there on the edge. We'll mark it right there at five and a half. There we go, five and a half right there. Now we can just uh, slide it over just like that. And with this uh, factory edge against the uh, straight edge right there, now you can just go ahead and take it. I'm going to do the exact same thing for eight and a half. All right, so there we got five and a half by eight and a half. But I think hard corners will look stupid, so I got my high tech. Uh, U.S. quarter right there. We'll just use that to measure out the uh, corners and cut those loose. Just using that as a guide for a nice even round. And look at that. I just to cut those. I'm going to use a brand new breakaway razor knife. And I do have it on a plywood uh, substrate right here. With a brand new knife, it should cut pretty easily. It won't leave a nice bird edge. We just want nice clean cuts on it, nothing torn. Next step is going to be clean the surface. I'm just using glass cleaner here to get all the dirt off of it. I don't want to have uh, any dirt that will fall into it when we're putting a, the wrap on. Very simple. Look at that. Now I'm just going to be using some alcohol wipes to make sure I don't have any grease or oil that's on the surface right here so that the uh, wrap will stick because it is self-adhesive so that's all I'll be using you can obviously just use uh, any degreaser you want to use as long as it does not leave a film afterwards so I'm just gonna stick with the alcohol wipes all right so let's go ahead and wipe down all the surface that we can like I said I'm not the best at doing this so I like to do the wet method so that I can reposition it if I mess up all you'll need is to have it but you will need to make sure that you do have a nice non-marring squeegee to install this with a nice sharp edge on it. I'm gonna make my own application uh, fluid using just uh, some distilled water and maybe a drop of uh, dish soap. I'm not a scientist, I'm just told that the dish soap uh, breaks up the water tension of the water molecule itself so it doesn't trap air. If you do add too much soap to the fluid, uh, it will interfere with the adhesive properties of the wrap. Now then for me, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, spray the surface. I'm just going to find the edge of the film or the wrap and pull it off the backing here. Very easily, just like that. And I'm just going to spray the back of it too. Now with all those surfaces wet, I should be able to just kind of slide this in position where I want it to be. Without it sticking yet. Okay. I think I'm actually okay with that. Doesn't look too bad. I'm kind of even with the edge right down there. I've wrapped my straight edge with a little bit of duct tape to protect it from damaging the vinyl. I'm just going to try to push all that water out now. I'm going to use gravity to help us out. So I'm just giving some light pressure here. And then I just have the straight edge wrapped around a brand new microcloth uh, towel here. And I'll just do a final little wipe down with it. And now I won't deny, you can still see that little guy right there, because I didn't put a lot of effort into it. But from this distance right here, I think it looks pretty good. And, don't forget I still have my decals to put on. But I don't think I need the word. I think I just need the beaver. Now this will install strangely the exact same way as the wrap. And a little bit up there. That way when I put it into place, I think I can get it to where I want it to look good and then secure it. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. A bit. This one's just the outline, so it shouldn't get too many stuck water bubbles in there. Go ahead and take the uh, backing paper off. If you knew that divot was there, I think you would uh, still be able to see it. But if you had no idea, I don't think you'd be ever the wiser. But I just wrapped a piece of chrome vinyl wrap on my mirror and applied this cool uh, gold beaver to it. 
Now I think that looks so good that I might as well do it over there on that mirror too. And it's done. So we have matching little medallions on there now. Is it 100%? No. Is it a lot better than what it was? I'd say 100%. And when you talk about $8 in materials that I only used half of it, and the decals were $6. I have $14 and maybe a half hour of my own time into uh, something that was something of an eyesore for me every single time I saw the RV. I don't know if you guys ever noticed it, but I always noticed it. Time will tell how durable and long-lasting this will be. But it is another thing off the list of items that I wanted to get done on this Beaver Patriot ever since I've had it. Uh, it was a very quick video like I promised you guys. Uh, maybe a lot of you guys already knew how to do this, but I don't know if this helped anybody out there, but it did help me. Uh, 2023 has been a fantastic year for me and, of course, the channel. I appreciate everybody who's been following along. Uh, I hope to bring you even more videos in 2024. Now, from me and my family and, of course, the uh, shop here, I want to wish everybody a safe and happy New Year. And to save you guys from uh, having to ask me, I'll put all the uh, items that I did use in the description. And I got these decals from, from Beaver Coach Sales in Oregon. That's their phone number right there. They own all the uh, intellectual property and licensing rights for Beaver Motor Coach. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you again in 2024. Thanks along for the ride. Bye. I have no doubt for those that are more skilled with vinyl wrapping, they could have just gone ahead and wrapped the entire mirror. I'm just always afraid of the edge not looking good on this side or cutting into the chrome finish here or puckering right there. And this is just supposed to be quick, easy, and painless. And that seemed like how it was supposed to be. Now I have a lot more upgrades planned for the RV still, like we talked about in other videos. And for those of you guys who uh, ask in the comments, are you ever going to use your RV or just endlessly upgrade it? Well, I do use this quite often, and as often as I can. And so I'm happy to share the upgrades I do to it with you guys. Like recently, I did just have to fix my steps, so I took that opportunity to add an LED light strip on the front of it and a few more underneath and I connected that to the uh, porch light too and I'm hoping now that I have a lot of the more maintenance uh, type of uh, repairs done on this I can start doing some more fun repairs but also look how much extra vinyl wrap I still have left I didn't even use all of it even a half of it I don't think and my RV is also a vital part of the shop here um, I wish I could tell you guys what the plans are for the next year, but every single time I try to put a plan together, life gets in my way, and uh, I just make do with what I uh, have going on at the time. Looks a little bit more convincing in the shade even. Huh. Nice.